Hello and welcome to this. This is Toy Shop on Tour. I'm Joe. I'm Gav. And this is the show where we take you all around the country, buying as many vintage toys as possible and cramming them in this van. Where is it this morning? Wolverhampton? King Street Collectibles. Darren? Darren. What are we going to expect? Toys. Toys. Toy Shop on Tour, the new TV series that takes you, dear viewer, all around the country as me and Gav buy as many toys as we possibly can and pop them in this van. Over 30 shops in the UK. Action figures. Dolls. Star Wars. Weird stuff. Transformers. Aliens. Thundercats. Bootlegs. He-Man. From all the way down south to all the way up north. East, west, Wales and Scotland, we're covering it all. We'll have rare items and small favourites. <laughs> so join me, Joe, Gav and Matt the cameraman as we take this Toy Shop on Tour. So we're in Wolverhampton, which for our very few international viewers is in the heart of England. It's the middle of the country, uh, not far from where I'm from. Uh, obviously our shop's based in your hometown of yes, Leicester and I now live in Leicester um, but I am from Derby um, so it was a short hop over to like Wolverhampton or the Birmingham sort of area uh, for me and uh, buying toys in this area is something I've done many times I found so much great stuff in this area and I know it just turns up I bought a Thunderwings Lino carded around the corner from here wow Amazing, eh? That's a good find. That's a big find. Yeah. Though. You don't see them. No, you don't see them, and I've not seen one since. So, <laughs> uh, it's worth a lot more money now than when I sold it, but still, you know, amazing thing to find. Good morning, Darren. Good morning. Hello. How are you, mate? Are you all right? All right, and you yourself? Very good. Nice to see you. How's things? I'm Gav. And yes, I'm, I'm Joe. So Joe. Just in case you're Darren. In case you. Darren and uh, my dad Ron. Hi Ron, how are you Ron? Oh, yeah. Good to see you mate, good to see you. Right, we're really looking forward to our day today. It's the start, it's the start of our day nine, isn't it? Is it day nine? This Iron Knight tank immediately drawn my attention. How much is this? Well we've got an 80 on that one at the moment. 80? Not one you see very often, the Iron Knight tank. I'd be interested to have a look at this out of the box. Sort of harder to get action man vehicles. Not something I normally pick up, but you know, you don't see it very often. And been, being produced so local to where we're from, to where we are in Leicester, yeah, it's something that's quite, quite interesting, that, Aaron. What sort, of a, what sort of deal could that be? What sort of price could you do on that? Ooh, what could we say for you for 60? 60? Yes. Yeah, that's, a, that's the quick and easy first deal of the day. That's Thank you very much. Thing. Fantastic. First deal of the day done. Straight in. Bang. Lots of bits and bobs. Just spotted out the corner there. One of my favourites. Tommy Water Games. They were big in sort of the, the mid 80s. Basically. You go, it wasn't, there was no electronics, which for Tommy was very rare. I tell you one thing they always suffer with, and let's have a look at this one. The stoppers on the end. Oh, I tell you what, you know, that's quite nice. Let's put the box down there. There we go, look. It's great, it's such a great design. But the stopper, it's still got a bit of flexibility to it, but I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> I wouldn't trust it completely. I think as soon as you uh, as soon as you take that off, it's gonna break and the game's unplayable. But no, love it. Where do you come from? Another galaxy. Right, up here, Starship Troopers, mid 90s. Paul Verhoeven made this movie, famous obviously for Robocop, Total Recall, Basic Instinct, and he had a directing style like no other. Really, like really nasty, quite political as well, in parts. And this was basically the bugs were trying to take over, and they were giant bugs. And they made this toy line, which was not popular at all, even though the movie was amazing. And they're the same size as uh, well, they're from the Action Fleet line, same as the uh, Star Wars ones. Same scale. You got your little guys and your giant bugs, and they're great. These were for the kids that you didn't have a Star Wars space case. <laughs> yeah. You had 
The space, space case. case. Generic figure. Oh. It'd be great if it was full of Tom Land figures, wouldn't it? No, it really would. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I had a slight flutter when you said yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's not, but that's the kind of thing it would have been. Mm. You would have been, had a, you couldn't get the Star Wars figures, but yeah. you, you got the Tom Land. Yeah, look, figures. holds up to 12, four and a quarter. Yeah. Which is unusual because it's three and three quarter. Yeah. Maybe they've got two back on stilts, but look. <laughs> Get your IG-818. So some lovely hot toys up there, Darren. So what's this uh, war machine you've got there? Is that the silver one or the... If this it's is a die cast, cast one, is it? One, yes. yeah. This is why you always let the dealer handle the hot toys. Yeah. Because you don't want to drop them. It gets yeah. expensive very quickly. <laughs> And here he is. Unfortunately, he's not the silver one, as oh. I said. I thought I'd wait. Nice. To show you. He's really nice, though. He is. He's lovely. I think because that's actually nicer than the Iron Man they released. Nice mask tray up there. Oh, that is cool. How much is the mask tray, Darren? Well, I believe we've got 20 on that one. Oh, what could we do on that? Say 15. 15? Got to buy it for that, haven't I? Oh! Look at that! Yeah, yeah. I saw the fastening through the top, and I thought that's not just—that's like a lap tray. Yeah. That's amazing. That is good. I wasn't expecting the fold-down bits. Fold-down legs. That's cool. Look at that. Fifteen pounds. That's coming back with me definitely. That's ace. Thanks, Darren. That's brilliant. Look at the artwork. It's stunning. Hold on, let me sneak down the back of here. Luckily, I'm only small. I'm only slight. <laughs> Look at him, he's great. Fraggle Rock. The box is nailed. But it's Fraggle Rock. It's got 20 pounds, how much can he be done? Well, what can I say to you as you've already bought items? Say a tenner for him. Brilliant. Brilliant. We'll definitely take him. He's great. Look at him. Are you a fan of Fraggle Rock, Ron? Do you, do you yeah. remember the Fraggle Rock? Yeah, I like yeah. Fraggle Rock. Yeah, look. They're tiny little comic books from the Chocolate Bar Trio. So they would have been sort of uh, late 80s, I would have thought. I love those. Those are fantastic. There you go. So there's six to collect. Whoa, there's a mission. For me, I just think I bought three items. I'm really pleased, you know, to start the day off with three really nice items I don't see very often here at King Street Toys. It's a great way to start the day, so on to the next. We've had a great time. Thanks, Darren. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming as well. And also, located in Wolverhampton in the West Midlands at um, 25 King Street. It's just off the, from the centre. Oh, well, it was great. What a great start to the that day. Was. There you go. We bought some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just try and get this back to the uh, bus. Let's get in there. Oh, look at all them tortoises. Hello. You're right, Adam? Hey, mate. You right? How you doing? Good, mate. Good. Good to see you. And you? Look at this place. Fantastic. It looks great. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. How you doing? I'm Stalwart of the toy fairs. We've seen you around for quite a I while suppose now. I suppose I am, yeah. Yeah, you are now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's the first time I've been to the shop. Yeah, it is. It is. And I've already walked in and gone, I should have been here earlier. But there we go. Adam had one of the best finds I've ever seen. You got like basically a warehouse full of stuff. Yeah, didn't you? I did fall lucky. Yeah, you fall very you lucky did. with the with the Thundercats. Um, yeah, so it's a complete range of Ghostbusters as well. Yeah, which I know it's a once in a lifetime find. I it, think it is. I mean, yeah. I've never had. I mean, I've, I've found a lot of stuff. I've yeah. bought a lot of stuff. I bought huge collections. Yeah. But I've never had your find, which you came into the business <laughs> it with. Was, I know it was, it was my first big job lot as well. You've developed so much as a, as a dealer and collector, because I see you now and you've got stuff which I kind of go, oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. So well, although you had that find, which you might say was down to luck, yeah. you've kept on building for me. You've kept yeah, I on. Yeah, I suppose I have. It's, still it's, um, it's a work in progress, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, uh... And look at the shop, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Cheers, man. Really Thank bright, you. everything pops. Thank you. It's, I can't wait to look around properly. It's really well lit. Lots of stuff, you can see it all, you can see all the prices, it's 
still got a lot to learn and we have because <laughs> uh, this shop's better lit than ours and now I want new lights in the shop and I'm walking around thinking I need to have my lights as good as this because everybody can see everything. But there's a wide variety of stuff so there's everything from sort of 90s sort of really cool stuff that's coming through right through to traditional stuff as well. What I like as well it's all quite mixed. Yeah. You've not got all your 90s over here, all your 80s over here. You've got to really have a good look. You've got to spend time in here, haven't you? You've yeah. got to invest your time into looking mm. around. Which everyone should. Yeah. If you're going into a shop, spend some time. People have, you know, done this on purpose. It's not just happened. <laughs> People have set all this <laughs> up for you to look at. Never seen this before. Superheroes. It feels like it's going to be like cubes. Um, oh. oh yeah, and cubos de plástico. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Oh, oh yes, and it's got its pictures. And it's got the pictures. Adam, how much is this? That is thirty pound. Thirty pounds. Oh, it's very cool. Thirty, thirty pounds over a nice cup of tea. Oh, I like them. These are ace. Adam, is there any any way we can do a bit of a deal on that? Is there any? <sighs> Make me an offer for it. Make you an offer? Make me an offer. Make him an offer, and he says. I've made you a cup of tea as well, you've got to remember There is that. the tea. Yeah. So how much is tea tax nowadays? Oh. About two quid? <laughs> it's yeah. got to be, hasn't it? About yeah. two quid on tea tax. Um, 25 quid. Yeah, go on then, mate. You're a good I'll lad. do 25. There we go, that's brilliant. Cheers, I love buddy. that. That's you buy great, something that's that you haven't buy, seen before. Is. Look at that. You'd be like, oh, I can't wait, I'm going to go home and play with this. So look at that! First one in on the bag, £25. Yeah. They're really good. Actually, there are some really cool ones. Designed by a mate of mine, a really good artist, Rob Wallbank. We've got Beastie Boys, with all the He-Man bad guys on. Look at Skeletor there. <laughs> Endor <Okay>. Fried Trooper. <laughs> oh, look at that Ewok's face. Evil. <laughs> He's chomping on a trooper. is made for the sort of figures so it fitted in with your Lone Ranger stuff. So it's Marks, the same manufacturer. So we've got a nice set of instructions. They're all original. Is that the base? It is the base. the base. Yeah, the base is there. All wooden sections as well. This is awesome. Wow, it looks to be all there, doesn't it? I believe it is. How much is something like that? Alright, I've got 150 on it. 150 on it. So it's quite a a rare piece to find complete. They went through a stage of trying did stuff like the farmhouses and things like that. But these play sets for action figures out of, out of bits of wood and stuff like that, they're really early. So there isn't really too many of them about. Um, I'm really interested in that. Mm. Behind the action, the Kylo Ren lightsaber, what's behind there? The... Gunfight of the OK Corral. That's game. the one. Is, it was probably one that got banned because of it firing ball bearings at kids' heads. <laughs> so this is very similar to the all the ideal games of this time. They had the they had crossfire and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So this was similar to this. Had the Western theme, which would have been around at that time. Would have been a big thing when we were a kid. You watch Western films. You played with Western style toys, and this was it. And the gunfight at the OK Corral. Well. There you go, it's, a, it's iconic, isn't it? It's a game, I don't normally buy games. If somebody comes into the shop and says, do you buy games? I go, no. Yeah. But I want to buy this game. How much is this game? All right, I've got 50 on that. 50? Yeah. Okay. I love this goofy looking guy. This is a Lone Ranger water pistol from back in the day. This is original, so this is 1970s. Very, very nice, and again, £20 price ticket on that's one that I do think I will uh, want to chat about. Put him in my pile. Because look, he's amazing. One of my favourites. Now, considering the subject matter, they never really made a lot of toys. But here we have the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang figures. And they weren't made by a major toy manufacturer. Well, we've got Stevenson Entertainment Group. I'm sure some of you guys out there will have heard of these. I've not personally. But look at the figures, they're fantastic. Truly scrumptious and Jeremy. Oh, here we go, let's go through them. We've got uh, the toy maker, who is Benny Hill, very famous British comedian. And uh, oh, he's got one of his little toys that he's made. 
Here's the little dress. I think the little doll that he handed over. They do really look like them. They look a little like the Doctor Who ones. They're that sort of style. Who else got here we go? Here's the main event. Caractacus Pots. What a name. But there you go. That is a fantastic Dick Van Dyke figure, that is. <laughs> look at that. With Jemima. The one thing we're missing here, which I believe is a picture on the back, yep. Yeah. The child catcher. One of the most terrifying things in a film, even today. What a nasty, horrible little man. Oh, I like these. It's the uh, Space Invaders pin badges. Look at them. Will that slide all the way off? Ah, there you go. Oh. Oh, Space Invaders, one of the original arcade games. Yeah, because all you, all you young fans probably wouldn't know. And that is, a, you know, a box replica of the cabinet. That was the art on the side of the cabinet. There's your coin mech, you'd put your 10 P's in. And yeah, and these, the, oh, the Space Invaders, they all just lined up, you shot them all down. That was the game. Lined up in rows, you'd clear the board, you'd clear the board again, you'd clear the board again. The games were much simpler back then. And that's just five pounds. I'm having that, that was amazing. In the window we've got a fantastic display of TARDISes and this amazing Thunderbird 1 with Unit 3 collectible toys on it, which is awesome. But the TARDISes are great. These are built in house as well. Really, really cool. Palitoy Tippy Tumbles. I love these. Whenever I see them, I've got to get them. She's tricky. She's flippy. It's amazing. She tumbles by herself backwards, forwards, without even touching her. There is a little remote control in here which is the little blue bag and it's like a secret thing and it's meant to be, it was their big, it, I just, I love the fact that they were going, right, we're gonna make this tumble over. Brilliant. Love that. Adam, how much is the tippy tumbles? Uh, I think it's 30 pound. 30 pound, right, we'll put her in the pile and see what sort of roundup deal we can get at the end. So the Johnny Astro was made by Topper Toys. Did the Johnny 7, the Johnny Astro, you got the Johnny Speed. There was loads of stuff, it was always, I'm obsessed with Johnny. Oh, that's weird. I've just asked Adam, I said, have you tested it? Does it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> and they never do. But it's cool to see one. The balloons are always the bits you never see. I think this one is no exception. I think when I got it, the balloon had uh, perished. So yeah. It was all, cr all crumbled. Yeah, they do. And then there was a, 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 an old bag of balloons in there as well, and all that was a crumbled yeah, inside solid, the bag. Yeah, solid together, it, yeah. yeah. This is what happens with them. But I just love the artwork and the, the Johnny Astro topper stuff was really cool. Yeah. They made lots of lovely toys. And the Johnny 7, the Johnny Astro, they were just really good. And the good thing about this one as well, you could you could make this, I'm not going to fold the box, but you could make this, this bit is meant to fold up so it comes like a display box. Really, really cool. It's a toy that I've always liked. Mm. I've owned a few of them and they've always been disappointing, but whenever I see one, I have to ask. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice, nice toy. Now here we go, we've got to be very careful with these. Pocket Power, made by Sega, of all companies. What they were, they were little portable, you know, you were meant to, much like pocketeers and that kind of thing. Little gun, with all its ball bearings as well. You don't often see a complete one. We've got a little, uh, little jet there as well. Great stuff. Now Adam's told me he's got 10 pounds each on these. What could you do me on all four? You buy three and get one free. You buy three, you get, you get one, one free. free. <laughs> I like the sound so of that, 30, 30 quid. Pound. I'll take them. Oh, he's got the target on the back as well. The tippy tumbles, you said 30 on that. Mm -hmm. We've got 20 on the Lone Ranger water pistol. <clears throat> and then there was some negotiation on these. So it's 150 and 50. Okay. What's the best deal you can do for these four pieces? Right. So it should be two fifty, shouldn't it? You mind like a trap. Yeah. Um. Two hundred quid. Two hundred quid. Yeah. I'm not even going to quibble with that, viewers. I'm just going to go for that. Two hundred. Cool. Quid. Thank you very Good, much. Mate. That's amazing. Another deal done. And I've no idea where I'm going to pull this stuff when I get back to the shop. But still, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Unit 3 Collectible Toys, and we're at 3 Worcester Street, Wolverhampton. Um, come in and see us. We buy, sell, and trade 
any collectibles or vintage toys. Guys, Thanks for looking thank after you, us. Yeah, we're back on the buying train, boys. We're back on the buying train. Yeah, yeah. Two, two shops already. Two shops already. Oh, oh, we've got, a, we've got somebody and trying to. And we're practically on the doorstep of the third. Practically nearly running that lady over. Just walked out into the road. There you are. So we're here. And it is open. Weird and wonderful. Collect a shot and it's open. Now we dropped on Dave a little bit last minute here. Yeah. But I'm hoping he's going to be able to uh, film inside. He looks excited from the outside. He does. There's loads of stuff in there. Yeah. There's all these tubs as well. Looking down here. Lots of tubs to root through. Dolls. dolls. Random dolls. Nice tool. Epic stuff. Including a pair of roller skates. Die cast. Look, Gav, you see what's in the window? Oh, I see folk. Dave. Oh, yeah. Hello on. there. Oh, wrestling buddies. Wow. Loads of stuff. Wall to wall. Look at these here. The Joker dolly mixtures. Now that, that's cool. Ronald Reagan, the actor <laughs> from Spitted Image, which was a, uh, a satire, that's the word I'm looking for. And yeah, there was a whole load of them. They did all the political figures, all the celebrities at the time. It was a big show. I think these were animal chew toys. Yes. There's, there's stuff everywhere. Scan through, no velmer. Oh look, we've got Palatoy Talk Ups. Two Palatoy Talk Ups. We'll have to ask them about them. You do, you have to get on your knees in this shop. There's another room. There's more weird and wonderful this way. Midland Red collection of buses. 176 scale, so they go with your railway. Things that we don't see, but there's a bit of everything in here. I like anything that makes me smile, basically, and doesn't take life too seriously. Well, I was a landscape gardener for 35 years, and this is a lot easier and a lot more fun. And I, I always liked antiques, so I started with antiques and a mixture, but then I found toys were selling quicker than the antiques, so the shop moved more and more towards toys. Clive yeah. Barker Jump Tribe. I've got all four of them. Wow, they're quite cool, aren't they? Yeah, they are. What are the other ones like? They're all in there, I think. Oh, they're all in there? Yeah, all slid I think so. They're all weird and wonderful, as, uh, they are. as it says on the tin. They are very. I like them. They're yeah, quite cool. They how, are much, how much you got on them? Uh, they're a tenner each. My personal favourite. Oh, wow. <laughs> Clive Barker, obviously well known for Hellraiser and nasty horror classics, but he's gone down kind of a, a weird and cute route here. What's nice, you get a little book with them that obviously Clyde Barker will append. So yeah, I, I quite like them. Yeah, they're unusual. Yeah. How oh much no. are they? I've got a lady who's going to be very disappointed if you oh, take that dark. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, for the two, I'll do 15 on the two. 15 quid for the two? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah. You heartless. That's that lady. I'm sorry, really sorry. <laughs> oh, we've had a great time. About time for us to cash up. So much still. Okay, five. Those two, 15. 34 altogether. Thanks very much. Get Keep you. the change, Get buddy. Don't worry sure? about that. Yeah. Okay, that's we lovely. We'll see you uh, next time. You can find me through Facebook. Um, put in Briley Hill, Weird and Wonderful. It'll come straight up. Or just give me a ring. Weird and Wonderful. Great. That was a really cool little shop. I knew that would be your cup of tea. You all right? I'm all right, Joe. Nice Hello. to see you, mate. You? So we're back. You're back again. It seems like five minutes since I was last here, and it's changed yes. loads from last time. Even more cramped, mate. Even more cramped. That's a good thing. You seem to um, have bought, for a small shop, you seem to have bought some very large things. <laughs> That's what I tend to do. I'm now swamped with Star Wars, as you can see. Yeah. Power of the Force. I've noticed in the recent months, it started to pick up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm mostly excited by everything in here. Merchandise from the 80s TV show, V. There was no merch. I think this is all from, uh, from Europe. We'll find out though. I mean, obviously Star Wars, Forbidden Planet, 
Uh, anything Jerry Anderson I'm a fan of, especially Space 1999. And Kirk's chair, Kirk's command chair as well. Have you seen my Jerry Anderson section just over there? Destiny here. Angel in the uh, She's pilot's crazy, chair. And Scott Tracy. That, that's actually signed by Shane Rimmer, who did the voice for Scott Tracy back oh, in the day. Man. I've got some V stuff as well. You never see that. Yeah. 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 Look at it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Some V. Target game. You never see V stuff. I've just commented on the uh, the figures down here. Yeah, there's I'm more. There's very excited. Big figure there. TV show in the 80s, sci-fi. At the very end of the first episode, one of the characters peeled off the skin to relieve, reveal like this horrible alien uh, lizard face. This is a set. I mean, you can't see. I haven't got room to display all these properly. Oh, Check how, these out. Look how amazing these are. Look at the cards. I mean, look at this. Volkswagen camper. It's fantastic. You know, we say this a lot, oh, you don't see that. But really, you do not see this stuff. <laughs> I, I admit, some pretty strong money on these, but you, you find you find them. It's that, find another one. Yeah, exactly. exactly. F look find, at the find another one. I've been collecting toys now for 30, 30 odd years. We've got Mike Donovan, Diana, she was the bad one. Everyone fancied her though. One of the ones with his skin torn off with his lizard features. But yeah, they're all the main characters. Robert England, uh, who's Freddy Krueger, famously played one of the good aliens, one of the good visitors, because that's what it's still called V, stuff for yeah. visitors. It, that is a, to be honest, that is a, a knockoff type V. <laughs> um, figure but a uh, vehicle but again find find another one South America I think for the the, the USA market mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of these made it to the UK no because I think the series had sort of peaked yeah V stuff Neil you know what the next question is really would you sell it all as a set well, Joe, that is a question, isn't it? It is. <laughs> what would you do? Joe, I will sell some of it, but some of it. I don't want to sell all of it. For the reason, as I've sense. been saying, yeah. it, they're rarer, rarer mm -hmm. than ends teeth. This is why it's different. So for those people that are watching this going, but it's about making money. It's it not. really isn't. It's no. not just that. It's what tugs at your heartstrings. It's what, for me as a toy dealer, it's when I see something I've not seen before, I want to have it to be able to show it and then Eventually it will go to another home, but having that bit of time with it. These are the, the bits that I'm attached to exactly, Joe. Okay, so for this pile, what sort of deal could we do on those, Neil? Um. <clears throat> you could hear a pin drop. I think, Joe, we would be in the area of um, 1,200 quid, mate. 1,200 quid. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, nine uh, pieces. The, the problem is, we've got, we can't, as most dealers do, you go to eBay, you look at the sold mm. listings, and you've got an, a feel of where you should be. Mm. But unfortunately, you can't do that with these. No, you can't. No. It's as much as what? Yeah. It's like a custom thing, isn't it, in a way? It's as much as somebody's prepared to pay. Mm. If we took the gun out of the equation, because I'm less fond of guns. You, you, you don't like guns, do you? I don't really do guns. See, I, I, I love the figures. I, I think the figures... So we'd be down to a thousand now, wouldn't we? Would we? I think so, Joe. Would we? I think so, Joe. And I think you'd be getting a bargain there. Now, bear in mind, I, I'm not desperate to sell these things, mm. but mm. because as we, because I can't replace them, and I like no. this series myself. Love this, loved it back in the eighties. Yeah. Still love it now. Watched it again in lockdown, and yeah. still loved it. But then Joe's not seen the series, so he hasn't got the you haven't got, got the got connection the and the love. It doesn't matter, but it's not stopped me before, has it? Ever. No. So anything that I've got, I haven't probably seen. I mean, I've seen Star Wars, but I didn't see that when I was a kid. The reason why I loved the toys when I was a kid was not because I loved the film. It was because I loved the toys. And it was always about the toys. Even though I love Star Wars, 
if we were talking Star Wars, I could replace so most of that almost that. immediately. Yes, it's a cost me, but I could replace it. With these, I simply cannot replace them. So it, it's it, it's a case of... Uh, we're going to have to be at a thousand, Joe. Uh, There's eight pieces there. Listen, Joe, if you don't, I won't be offended if you're thinking it's too much money. I will not be offended. We're still friends. You know, I... I, I know yes, it's, it's a lot of it's I know a lot it's of too money. much money. I don't have to think it's too much money. <laughs> I know it's too much money. And they will go back in there. And I mean, I will, I, will say, I, I will not be offended. Honestly, I will not be offended. But the very fact they're on a caution sign gives me that sort of thing of going, <laughs> there's an alert already there. <laughs> I'm sweating over this. I need to have a minute. And I need to think. Do you, no. do you want me to fetch you a coffee? I might need some some whiskey, I think, at this rate. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the scarcity of them. You never find V-figures. We've got split bubbles, we've got slight issues. Joe, uh, South Joe, American. Joe, and I can't disagree with the word you are saying. You are absolutely correct. But find find I know a more mate uh, you know y yes you're right we, we can I can go through these and say say that, that like there's problems with this I mean I can't I can't disagree with you okay. these would be no, the, the they, cheapest they, of the cheap they, they, they didn't even bother gluing these on they stapled them on the card they couldn't even it? go that far it was like they are cheap but they are also just so cool you just don't see these, and I'm, I am... <sighs> they always say that, don't they? Find more. Find another one. But really, but this time, really find another one. I don't know, viewers, what would you do? In fact, I'd be happier if you, like, moved on to something else and not them. And I put them back <laughs> into the cupboard. I'm coming back to the the four figures and the van. What sort of price could you do on the four figures and the van? So the four so so these these people. Yeah, those people. Trouble is Joe, you're breaking up the set there, aren't you? As you mm. know, that's why you're smiling. Well it's not why I'm smiling, I just don't want to spend the thousand pound necessary to prize them. But from but, you. but the problem is mm. You know what I'm going to say now? That is, you're having the best bit there, that van, aren't you? So, well, what about, sorry, if you had that, to keep the set together? But the, the figures are really what we're kind of, I'm interested in the figures. What would be the best price on these? You've got 500 on them. 350. 350. And we're not going to argue anymore, Joe, about to and fro and the, the bubbles are split and, and the cards this, that and the other. I think 350. I'll tell you what, Neil. 350. And he'll chuck us in a Wonka bar. I will. I will. <laughs> I could see you looking there as well. I'll chuck in a... Let's do it. There we go, okay. mate. Dear me. You thought I was going to say four, didn't you, Joe? And you were going to have to batter me down to 350. 350 was my max. So mm. yeah. <laughs> you kind of went I thought. Up I, th like. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, the ceremonial handing over the Wonka bar. <laughs> I'll look after the chocolate. <laughs> I should look after the V. Don't know about much. that, Neil. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. so much, Thank mate. No Good to see you. Andrew. We'll see you again you. very soon. It's toy of the day time. And I know what you're thinking. What yeah. I'm choose. There's quite a bit from today. <laughs> and we've both come up with exactly the same yeah. thing. It can it could only be this. It can only be the set of four V. And I am looking at them now and thinking, why did I spend we got caught up in the moment. <laughs> no, no, they are they're you're not going to see any more. And if we get caught up in the moment, the chances are our customer will get exactly. caught up in the moment as well. 
So that is our toy of the day, um, and it's the first time we've done one where we both agreed on exactly the yeah. same thing. There was there was nothing else we bought today that even close to match this. There was some brilliant stuff we bought today, yeah. but not as special, as different as no. this. You've had like your ramshackle madness, and yeah. then you've had your high-end, really nice places. Yeah, it's it's kind of like one of the, it's an eclectic. I've enjoyed, really enjoyed it today. It's been a good day. Lots of things to see, lots of things to buy, and I could have spent a lot more. So I'm glad I didn't get carried away in some ways. Today's been great. It's gonna be hard to top today, yeah. but tomorrow, you never know. It could have been even better. Stay tuned to find out. Here we are happy toys. I'm excited about this. Floor to ceiling. So many things I want to ask about. Everyone talks about Metropolis, and I've never been. There's a good reason why. Oh, look at that view. Toy shop on tour. Like and subscribe if you want to see the next episode or watch all the old ones. Click stuff. <laughs>